Hey, what is up, everyone? I hope everyone's doing well. Um, somebody left me a comment um, and asking me to do a, a small video on this Scum VM. Um, what this is is you could play classic role-playing games and classic point-and-click adventure games. So it's definitely different. Um, so I'm just going to go through the installation and show you a game that you could download. Um, other than that, it's something different. If you want to leave a comment to, to let me know if you want a video on something, please do. Otherwise, I don't really have anything else to, anything cool to show you for the time being. I'm actually thinking about training in my PlayStation 4 and just going the PC route. Going, uh, PC Master Race, actually. But, I don't know. I do want the PS5, but I'm tired of video games saying that you can play 1080, 30 frames. And then once the game comes out, it's not even 30 frames or something like that. It's like lower. And, uh, I don't know. So that's that's up in the air for me right now. If I want to just trade in all my games and do um, just PC gaming from, from now on. So I'm looking at um, an AMD... Um, Ryzen 9 microchip or the Intel 9 right now and I'm looking at an RTX 3080 card um, so yeah I get some choices but other than that let's uh, let's get this video started so right here on the main page it tells you a little intro on what um, scum VM is um, you're more than welcome to read it if you'd like but from here you want to go down to downloads and this is going to be the most up-to-date um, version of the Scum VM. So it's all it's for all different platforms, but you want to grab the PlayStation Vita one. If you click on it, it comes up to another page with encrypted lettering and all weird crap. So what you want to do is right-click and save as. And I saved it to my desktop to make things a lot easier, as you know from my previous videos. So after that, I just minimize my browser. I'm showing you right there that that's what I just downloaded, the 2.2.0 version, which is the latest version there is. Before we load up the FTP client, let's head over to the PlayStation Vita and load up Vita Shell. Once over at the Vita, load up Vita Shell, as you see. Wait for it to load a few seconds and hit the select button and the FTP numbers will pop up. These FTP numbers you are going to be needing um, for the FTP client which is on your computer. So let's head back over to the PC side of things. Once over at the PC again, what you want to do is load up your FTP client. Mine is FileZilla. You're going to enter in the numbers that you saw through the FTP on the Vita shell on the PS Vita. Connect. Once that's connected, scroll down to UX0. Scroll all the way down. And I always put my FPK... I mean VPK files in the VPK folder to make things neat and easy and um, whatnot. So please give this a few, like a few seconds. A few seconds is two seconds actually. Um, like a minute or so because it's like a couple of megs. So once that's done, you'll get the notification transferred finished. So let's minimize that. Let's go back to the Scum VM website. Now we're going to download a game to be played, to be ran on the uh, PlayStation Vita. So I'm just going to pick one random game. I never even heard, I never even heard of this game or any of these games actually, to be quite honest with you. So I downloaded Beneath a Sword. And this is a, a good number of megabytes as well, so please give it time to um, to complete completely be downloaded. So I drag the folder over, and I exit out of WinRare. And to make my life easier, I'm just going to rename it to Beneath a Sword. And those are the files that come with the download. So let's head back over to the FTP since it's still connected to the PlayStation Vita. Let's refresh this screen. As you can tell, the folder's right there. But first, I'm going to create a new folder called ROM Scum VM. 
just make my life easier and stuff like that. So once that's complete, as you can see right there, I highlighted it. I entered the folder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and upload. And please give this some time as well because it's a good number of megabytes and should take two minutes or so for um, this to be completely uh, uploaded. Or you could just um, drag the folder beneath the sword over to the UX0 slash ROM space scum folder if you'd like. Or you could have done what I just did was right click and click hit up upload. This is almost done. Once it's done, we're going to head back over to the PlayStation Vita side of things. But yeah, I'm thinking about doing PC forever and stuff like that. I'm getting tired of buying consoles and whatnot. But once this is complete, as you can tell by the notice, we can just exit out of um, the FTP client. What you want to do is click disconnect and let's head back over. Once over here, let's exit out of this message box. Um, going to go to UX0. I'm showing you guys right there that the ROM scum folder is right there. And we go to the VPK folder. We're going to install the VPK file. Like I said earlier, it's easier to have everything neat and organized and stuff like that. And that's why I do have a VPK folder. But if you don't have one, don't worry about it. Just drag and drop the VPK file in and you're good to go. This is almost done installing. Um, remember, it's only a few megabytes, so it shouldn't take that long. So once that's done installing, um, what I like to do is delete all the VPK files. Even though they're kilobytes or megabytes, I just have no reason for them to be on the system anymore. So you're more than welcome to reboot your, con your system, or you're more than welcome to just X out of the Vita shell and go straight into to the scum VM application. It's totally up to you. As you can tell, I'm trying to raise my uh, my GoPro up, but it keeps sliding down just a little bit. I don't know why. Maybe it has to do with the weight of the uh, GoPro camera or something. But once you boot it up, swipe and scroll all the way down. There you go. There's the scum VM. Let's enter it. Just wait for a few seconds. Till it loads up. Now, there's going to be like a mouse um, that you're going to be needing to be used to uh, point and click. You could either use your finger on the screen or you could use the left joystick to move the mouse around. Um, I'm having a little trouble here trying to enter in the UX0 folder. Um, I don't know why. Um, maybe I have fat fingers or something like that. I've been trying to hit the uh, choose button or chose button or whatever it says right there. Um, I'm trying to use like the buttons, like the triangle and the square. So I don't know if I have to hit the UX0 folder on the screen itself. Double tap that to get into the UX0 folder. But um, I believe there's directions and instructions on the website itself to tell you. Um, the controllers, the control options and whatnot, or how to work the controls. So you, I'm trying to double tap it and stuff like that. So I don't even know what I just did. I guess it's a little finicky, or I just have just friggin' fat fingers. Vienna sausage fingers I got, I guess, I don't know. So right from here, you could change options, I believe. Um, I didn't go through any of them. I just, this video is just to install, how to install a game and how to install the VPK file for this. But there's a bunch of tabs you could go through and check out and I guess you could change. So we got the game loaded. Let's load up the game. It's being loaded right now. And if you have any questions, concerns, please hit me up. You want something recorded? You want something? You want me to do another video on something? Hit me up, because I got nothing really in mind right now, and uh, I'll let this play out. Thanks, guys. The old man was trying to tell the future, looking for pictures in the campfire. Oh, I see evil, evil born deep beneath the city, far from the light of day. I see it growing safe beneath a sky of steam, scheming in the dark, gathering strength, and now, oh, now the evil 
spreads, sends deadly feelers over the land above, across the gap, reaching towards this very place. I'd seen him do it a hundred times, but I hear it. After all, he'd been like a body. And what does this evil want here? Oh, my son, I fear, I fear the evil wants you. And that was when Joey bite him. Sensors detect incoming audio source. The evil, the evil is nearly here. It sounded more like a copter than But the next thing, all hell left was in. Run, Foster, run! Hide from the evil! Foster! Hell! Better make my next body move faster, Foster! Suddenly, as it started, the shooting stopped. There was a moment's silence as the copter cut its rotors. Then, whoever is in charge here, come forward. Now! Only a fool would have argued with that firepower. I am the leader of these people. We are peaceful. Bring him here. At once, Commander Reich. We're looking for someone. Someone who doesn't belong here. Who wasn't born in this garbage dump who came from the city as a child. We want to take him home again. My mind racing. I remembered where I'd seen that symbol before. It was the day the tribe found me. The day of the crash. The day my mother died. You all right, city boy? Got a name, son? Robert. Ah, oh, welcome to the gap, Robert. As he patched me up, the old man had gently explained that there was no way back into the city, and I already knew there was nothing he could do for Mother. His tribe was poor, but they treated me like one of their own. I learned how to survive in the wasteland they called the Gap, and scavenging from the city dumps. As the years passed, I forgot my life in the city, discovered new talents. Ha! <laughs> I'm your friend! Call me Joey. And got a second name. This is what we'll call you. Now that you've come of age, son, we found you, fostered you. So that makes you Robert Foster. Wasted enough time. Give us the runaway, or we'll shoot everyone. Starting with you, Granddad. The old man had been right for once. It was me they wanted. No, my son. Don't let the evil take you. Run! DNA scan confirms it's him, sir. Evil had come to the gap, just as he said. Take him. But had the old man seen why it wanted me, or what it would do next? It was too late to ask him now. Leaving destruction zone, Commander Reich. Good. Detonate. Much too late. Why, you murdering? Keep him quiet. All I could do was wait, just like on a hunt. Just like the old man taught me. Wait, and be ready. It was dawn when we reached the city. Land in the central security compound. A dawn my tribe would never see. They were no more than a note in Reich's book now. Yes, sir. Locking on automatic landing beacon. But what was I? Why did... Sir! The guidance system! It's gone crazy! We're going to hit! Maybe I'd get some answers now. If I survived another copter crash. Escaped. Oh, sounds dangerous to me. 
Don't worry, he's not going anywhere. We cut the power to the elevator, and the crash has blocked the walkway. What if he comes in here? You'll be fine. We posted guards. And Reich wants to hunt him down personally. Reich, eh? This guy must be in court. Yeah, we got orders direct from Link. Take him alive before he does any more damage. Best of luck to ya. These guys are out to get me. But why? They already destroyed my home and my people. Well, Reich, whoever you are, it's retribution time. Gotta be clever. Play them at their own game. First thing is to get Joey running again. Just as well there isn't a fire. 